Hello, day 70. Of the 29th year and beyond. On day 69, Gail took us to the Lion King <laughs> and uh, talked about the significance of learning from the past. And I wanted to stay there and talk about the past as well, but from a different perspective. You know, Gail talked about how it's so beneficial that you learn from your mistakes, learn from the, the opportunities and experiences um, that, that you encounter so that you can grow, so that you can become a better person. Right. Um, what I wanted to talk about from the past as well, dealing with the Lion King, uh, is Gail's encounter was with Rafiki um, and uh, Simba, right. where years later, after he'd been basically hiding out and whatnot and abdicated his <laughs> responsibility <laughs> and, and, and uh, Rafiki had reminded him, you know, uh, to learn from the past, uh, although it may be painful. But <clears throat> the encounter that I, I'm focusing on is with Mufasa, with Simba being young. And when he takes him out in Pride Rocks and showed him uh, everything that the, the sun touches is our land, is our kingdom, is our responsibility. And I love when he says, speaking about transition, the sun will set on my time here as king and rise with you as the new king. That's right. Yeah. Uh, but he, he goes further to let his son know that with all this responsibility, with all of this um, uh, that he will be responsible for that his father taught him the stars and with the stars that the great kings of the past look down on them so if you ever feel alone you know you can receive guidance from those who have gone before and so that's what I want to talk about when we talk about the past. Those who have come before us. He talks about the great kings of the past looking down from the stars. The Bible teaches it this way in the 12th chapter of Hebrews. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, again, as we're running the race that has been set before us, uh, they're cheering us on from the heavenly grandstand, wow. as it were. Woo! Awesome. Wow, doesn't that just make you just want to do better? Absolutely, but uh, what that suggests to me is the fact that, you know, no matter where we are, no matter what we do, we don't have to figure it all out on our own. We have such a great cloud of witnesses. So we have those who have gone before us, the ancestors, uh, that we can glean from, but we still praise be to God, have persons that have not transitioned where we can benefit from their wise counsel. Mm -hmm. We can benefit from their experiences. We can benefit from uh, their knowledge. And I believe that it's foolish not to take advantage of that. Oh, definitely. And even, you know, this is something that is repeated over and over again because even in Marvel movies, um, um, we got T'Challa and when he has to go through the transition of drinking this fluid and he goes through this part where again the ancestors and he meets them you know where they're at and I mean again letting us know that the stuff that we go through here on a day-to-day -day basis is not anything new and that there are there um, the knowledge in the, of the past is there to enhance us and to help us to grow looking back at what our ancestors have gone through, looking back what they've been through, can only um, strengthen you and show you a path that maybe even you in this current state can't Google. Hmm. But, <clears throat> and that's why relationships. Yeah. If you are fortunate enough, blessed enough to have parents, to have grandparents, mm -hmm. to have just whether they're family by blood or by association, That's right. uh, to be able to benefit from those who have experienced things that you've yet experienced, mm -hmm. and again, to just be objective to receive, so that, you know, as we talked about in yesterday's message, you don't have to learn everything firsthand. Mm -mm. Wisdom dictates that you can learn from your experiences, your triumphs, and your mistakes, That's right. but you can learn from others as well. Right. Learn from those ancestors. Learn from that great cloud of witness. 
the great cloud of witnesses. So whenever you feel alone, realize you're not in it alone unless you choose to be. That's right. Until tomorrow, if the Lord says the same. Bye.